Profit margins in print on demand are notoriously bad and we need a solution. We need some premium product in our print on demand stores, even if they only get a few sales. And I'm not talking about the premium fabric like Champion or Lane 7. I'm talking about a premium printing method. With this, you'll be able to stand out and your designs will immediately feel way more desirable. I'm talking about embroidery. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to design for embroidery and how to market for embroidery. It's not the same. I'll also cover how to price your products. This is going to be a jam-packed video full of value and at the end I'm going to tell you how I plan to build my own brand this year with embroidery. Let's do this. These products look the best with embroidery. We're going to focus on hoodies as that's one of the most popular products and in my opinion it looks so fresh with some embroidery on it. I got a whole bunch of samples from Printful for this video as you can see here. So let's go over their prices, their quality, and let's see if Printful's embroidery is any good. This is what I've got. I've got a few hoodies, uh, I've got a sweater, and I've got a t-shirt. So as you can see, this is the design. Now I'll do some close up. This was the one that turned out the best. The stitching is pretty flawless, if you ask me. On this one specifically, it looks really good and it looks really fresh. I know I keep using the word fresh, but it really does look fresh. I mean, that's nice and I like it. The actual material quality of this particular hoodie, it's soft, but it's not that good. I mean, you've got loose stitches over here. I mean, look, it's not, it's not the best kind of build. I should say build. It's not the best kind of like material quality and the stitching is on this one very good but let's have a look at another one this is the white one now this is white on white and again it does look okay however i just feel with printful the stitching is a bit basic you know if we have a look closely at this stitching you can see it feels like they haven't used the best quality machines and i mean i'm not going to talk so much about the actual quality of the material because i think that's Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's not always the best. This is a t-shirt. Now, this is, I wanna show you this one. This will be the last one I'll show you. I don't need to show you these, because they're all basically the same. So I tried something a bit more intricate with this t-shirt. Firstly, I went for this cool kind of t-shirt material, but you can see I've got the logo in the middle here, and the actual embroidery of the word imagine is fine. It's actually really good, I really like it. However, the words the impossible it doesn't look very good. Now, I know I used a thinner font, so you really should be using a bolder font. Saying that, though, it just looks very cheap. You know, it looks like it's just been stitched, and it doesn't look special at all. I'm not at all impressed with how that's been stitched, and I wouldn't want to sell that to someone, especially if I'm going for a premium product with a premium price and trying to build a premium brand. As you can tell from the various products there, this isn't your traditional print-on-demand designs. And that's because you wouldn't always want to mix a picture with embroidery because a lot of the time it can turn out to be a total mess. There are certain cases where a design looks super cool with embroidery. Recently, print-on-demand companies have been allowing for larger printing areas on the chest when it comes to embroidery. It used to just be a tiny box on the left. This allows a lot more creative freedom for us. Embroidery designs are very good for brand names, logos, and that kind of thing. There are a few people who pull off the more intricate designs. And you could try going down that path, but a lot of the time, those kind of designs are a lot more expensive to produce as they're a lot harder to make. I recently bought a hoodie whilst snowboarding because I thought it looked super cool and I loved the embroidery on it. I don't think this would be possible with print on demand. This would have to be mass made in a factory somewhere. But nonetheless, it was really cool and this illustrates the kind of thing that one could do with embroidery to go for that premium brand. Once you have some embroidered stuff, you need to market it. And that isn't the same as traditional print-on-demand product. I wouldn't go to place it and just use some generic mock-up for this. I would buy samples and take photos myself. This is going to be a premium product after all, and nothing looks more premium than professional, unique 
photos and videos. Close-up photos are going to be vital so people can really see the embroidery. Model photos are useful too and you can model your own clothes if you want. You don't need to fork out even more money for a model. Videos will play a huge part as they have a more premium feel to them. Close-up, slow, cinematic videos showing the quality, the design, and the embroidery. As embroidery products are generally based around the brand name rather than the design, a great form of marketing is influencer marketing. Sending out free samples to influencers and seeing if they'll wear your designs on camera and mention your website, or if the design is your brand name, people will just put that into Google. This is one of the strongest forms of marketing at the moment because everyone wants to emulate their favorite creators. This obviously can cost as you'll be laying out for all these samples you're sending to people, but that cost should be insignificant compared to the reach that you'll be getting for your brand. When it comes to pricing your products, that will completely depend on how much you want to make and how exclusive you want your brand to be. If you want to do release drops like Supreme does and make it quite a hype brand, then a higher price won't come as a shock to people. A hoodie could be $120 and many people wouldn't bat an eyelid. The success of a brand ultimately comes down to the marketing and who you link up with. If you link up with the right influencers who are used to sharing Supreme, Fear of God, and Nike, then there's a very good chance that you could compete. Alternatively, you could price a lot more competitively to try and reach a wider audience. A hoodie in the $50 to $60 range is quite normal when it comes to this level of quality. The biggest issue we face is which company do we go with? Is Printful the right choice? Well, I'm gonna say no. Printful is not the right choice. It's perfect if you want to get some quick samples like I have of my designs just to kind of see what they would look like. But Printful's material quality just isn't good enough. It doesn't match up to the quality that we want. Printful's stitching also isn't good enough. It looks pretty cheap and that's not what we want. The real answer is to use Printful for testing designs then you can find a supplier who's able to make high quality products using the best machines, the best embroidery, the best everything. Then you can charge those higher prices and be happy knowing that your customers are going to receive something of incredible quality. I've always wanted to build a clothing brand, not just a print on demand company, but a fully fledged clothing brand that has retail shops, that is in department stores, all of it. This is something I've wanted to do for ages. I'm talking 10 plus years. In high school, I wanted to do this. And I would love to build something that one day is sellable, like an actual company. And I've spent the last year, specifically the last year, properly researching, researching materials, researching designs, brand names, marketing, all of it. Like I've properly been researching because I want to tackle this in 2023. More importantly, I thought this could be really fun to document the whole journey for you on YouTube. Everything from, you know, coming up with the brand, how I did that, the designs, visiting factories, testing out material quality, showing you how I do my drops and my marketing and how I'm getting sales, everything. I think it could be really interesting and a slightly different angle from print on demand. This, I believe, is far more scalable and far more sustainable. I have a brand name, I have a logo, I have a few designs. Now, I just need to put it out there. Let me know in the comments if you like this idea and you want to follow along for this journey. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you know when I bring out new videos. But if you want to start a little slower, just a regular print on demand business, which is completely okay, in fact, it's amazing, then you've got to check this video out next where I go into detail on how you can start your very own print on demand business in just a few weeks.